I'm turning my channel into a sports channel. What are we playing against top people? Because I'm just a girl. Oh. Hello. Hi. Please ignore the band-aid on the face. Anyways, welcome to a get ready with me. I'm currently getting ready for an indoor soccer game. And I just, you know, need some content. So, welcome. Yes, I am in my work clothes. I would say maybe I should take it off, but I feel like underneath all I have is more work clothes. So maybe let's put on the... Um, indoor shirt all right indoor shirt is on yes it is just a plain black shirt it is nothing fancy it's literally i think it was like 250 from kmart not a mere joke first things first gotta put the hair up i don't actually know what to talk about for this get ready with me i'm turning my channel into a sports channel clearly as you can tell from me doing sport stepping away from the dance world and into the soccer world apparently also indoor soccer is so much cheaper than dance we had to pay $40 like registration fee each which is cheaper than my dance yeah, registration fee lol then we had to every game we have to pay $65 but that's as a team and we take turns paying it so like I paid it the very first week have not paid since and I think we worked it out you only pay for two games so that's about $130 for the season which is pretty damn good I look like an egg now an egg with a band-aid like this is actually kind of funny I wish I had a smaller band-aid this isn't the one I had I'm also allergic to band-aids so wholly have an allergic reaction but it's fine step two we're gonna moisturize and put on the bronzing drops why I hear you asking because I'm not gonna wear makeup for sport but I need to still look oh my god come on but you need to still look somewhat presentable because I'm going out into public. This is also going to be interesting with the band-aid. I did not think through the band-aid. It's fine. We'll figure it out together. Also, I can't work out why I'm breaking out. I have another pimple over here. That's tanning drops. I was about to say that was a pimple. We're undefeated. Um, knock on wood. We are four games behind the rest of the teams because we started late into the season. So I think we're like fourth on the table. Look at me knowing some sports terminology i'm gonna check on some lip balm because we will not have chapped lips while playing soccer what do we play against hot people i know we're not i've played against everyone none of them are hot every time i film man stop highlighter because i'm just a girl who has an obsession with highlighter why did i get into indoor i'm hearing people say in the comment section probably not my comments are dry as fuck you should leave that is something no one needs to know, except for myself. Okay, there's the reason I tell people, and then there's, like, the real reason. You know, the reason I tell people is slash what I got my best friend to do it for. Sorry, Sky, even though I feel like she does know the real reason. It's just because me and Sky wanted to try new things. We wanted to, like, get more active, get more into, I don't know, really. We sat down and we were like, oh my god, we should play a sport. Be one of those girls who play sports. And we sat down and we read out a list of all the different sports we could do. And then somehow, definitely without any persuasion from me, we landed on indoor soccer. It was actually really easy to convince because we have a mate who's been playing indoor soccer for years. We literally went and watched him play his grand final, which was him playing for third or fourth. And so, like, it was very easy to be like, well, we already know someone who can, like, get us into, like, the indoor soccer world and, like, help us get a team together, a mixed team. Um, the real reason, when I have any sort of feelings for a person, I really go all in on what they like and their hobbies. And I really try and learn as much as I could. For example, with my ex, I was considering playing rugby league because my ex played rugby league. And I was like, I just want to know all about your sport and I want to understand your passion. I never played rugby league because everyone told me I wasn't allowed to because I would be snapped in half. Also, I mean, I've always like had a team I go for in the NRL. But I became a die-hard Panthers fan, like, watching every single one of their games, keeping up to date with everything, because I dated him and he was obsessed with footy. So... Oh. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh, fuck off.
You'll probably still be asleep. No. Yeah. <laughs> Have you met no. yourself? You could hate my guts after this. For the festival cons. Thursday from... Oh, never mind. Yeah, I know what you did now. I know what you did now. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Beg your pardon? <laughs> but that's a different time. I'm glad that I could say something because I was hearing words and nothing was actually going into my brain. I can't see anything. I can see a leg. Yes. Top. Yes. And another leg. Yes. Pardon? What do you bicep curl, miss? Um, well, it depends how many reps I have to do of said bicep curl. If it's eight, I can do 20. Fuck off. <laughs> I think the last time I did bicep curls, singles. No, like no, no. Last time I did 10, but I haven't done them in a while. But I'll do 20. I'm going to prove you wrong. Whoop. What time does that come on start? Oh, hang on. That's 2023. Yes. 